The if function performs a logical test where if it's true, it returns one value or false another. For example, I want to give these people commissions if they meet a test. Well, if their total sales is more than half a million. So let's go ahead and use the if function. Hit equals, type in if, there it is, checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another if false. With it highlighted, hit the tab key on the keyboard to pop open the function. We have our first argument, logical test. What's the test? Well, this cell, go ahead and select it, has to be greater than, type in the greater than symbol, let's say half a million or 500,000. And then to go to the next argument, hit comma on the keyboard, that turns into bold. And then if at any point while you're working through a function and you don't understand what it means, I mean this is pretty simplistic and you want more detail, then in the middle of it just come up here and click on FX, opens up the function arguments, and hopefully this will make sense, and give you a little bit more detail. For example, the logical test is E6 greater than 500,000. Well, it says it's false. Is that true? Yeah, it is false. If I go ahead and I flip that and say, okay, not greater than, but less than, then you can see it's true because, well, 481,000 is less than 500,000. But let me go ahead and flip that back around. And then if it's true, what do you want to do? Well, even though the first one's false, I'm going to copy and paste the formula, so I'll continue on because one of these guys is going to be true, I hope. And that's going to take this. Let me go ahead and click on its collapsible dialog box button so I can close it and click and drag the title bar to move it out of the way and select this cell. Type in asterisk because we want to multiply it by 0 0.05. Then hit enter to pop back open the window here. And there it is. You can see it there as well. And right now, if it was met, that would be his commission. But if it's false, then what do we do? Well, we can just go ahead and type in 0. And that's what it's going to equal. Click okie dokie, and he gets zero. Now let's go ahead and hover over the bottom right hand corner until we can see the black cross. Double click really fast and see what happens. And hey, these last three get commissions. And if it meets the criteria of more than 500,000, then it takes that total number, multiplies it by 0 0.05, and oh, that's a nice commission of 45 grand. Now if you have additional tests that they need to meet, remember our previous training video on the AND function, or if it has to meet one or the other, there's the OR function, you want to watch the next training video on combined and nested functions. We'll be working with the IF function and the AND and OR. Now you can change this up a bit if you don't want zeros displayed, maybe just nothing, or maybe something that says you get nothing. Go ahead and let's select the first cell so we can then copy and paste it afterwards so I can update all the others down below. Double click really fast. And then if it's false, you can see it's zero. But you can also do open quotes, close quotes, hit enter. And because there's nothing between it, when I hit enter, you get nothing there. Or double click, and let's put something in between it. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Hit enter, and yikes. Let's go ahead and select the cell, double click really fast, and let's use Microsoft for good and not something as harsh. Let's just either leave it blank or say, let's try a bit harder next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.